Blast This Old House is back on the road for a brand new season, tackling home repair and renovation projects all across America. Hey, nice to meet you. Welcome to Phoenix. My pleasure. Milwaukee is a city that's made for Masons. Welcome to our home in Pickens, South Carolina. What a beautiful place, what a beautiful house. We're bringing you plenty of weekend projects for homeowners of all skill levels. And so we didn't want to just sprinkle seeds and you know have it wind up looking like a bad toupee. Well, there's a lot we can do here to fix this lawn and make it look really nice. Roger, thank you so much for all your help. So that's your temperature and pressure relief valve, the T&P, the most important safety device really in this whole system. And it should not be leaking. Just looking at your downspouts over here, I was thinking maybe we could put a bigger basin, so it would be like a rain barrel on steroids, recycle that water, put your water feature in, and then reuse that water on some of the plants in your landscape. What do you think? I love it. So, you see this joint right here? For yeah. years, fans hand. of this old house have learned from Mason Mark McCullough, and now he'll be making his first ever house calls and answering your questions on Ask This Old House. Does it matter how thick I put it in there? Well, you or? know what? Just like we talked about before, you're going to want to stay off of the edge of the brick. Okay. Right there. So right now you're looking really good. All right. So just keep going down just the line. Just continue that, yeah. So now I'm going to go up. Oh. There you go. Look at that. I mean, it is reacting with the dirty soot more than it is with the clean brick. That's right. That's right. Our home technology expert, Ross Tathui, is back with Future House giving us a first look at emerging technology that may one day be in every home. So I'm super intrigued by this product that you've come up with, right, that takes solar energy and converts it into clean drinking water. So inside of our panels, what we do is we actually use a special material and a handful of other technologies to raise the dew point up so that water naturally condenses inside those panels and makes a lot of water very efficient. Very cool. What we do with the cold tank is that we'll make a 500 pound block ice. Really? That's right. So even when the sun's not shining, you're not running your equipment, you're a chiller. It's completely off. You have a block of ice to pull all that cooling energy from. Absolutely. Wow, that's fascinating stuff. Build It is back again this season, where Tom Silva shows simple woodworking projects for all skill levels. No, I'm not going to throw it out. I want to build something with this. It's got some great wood. I'm thinking of a shadow box. So like a picture frame, but three-dimensional, so we can actually put stuff in it. Exactly. I like it. All right. Nice touch, Tom. Yeah. Look at that. Hey, boys. Oh, what do you boy. think of the what shadow box? This is a piece of art. Look at it. We're going to work on this thing. And this is the prototype of what you're thinking? We'll even have a special guest for some build it projects as we visit the workshop of Jimmy Duresta. And then piece together in a sort of a geometric pattern. And I use the, the sawdust from the cutoff mixed with resin as the infill. As always, we'll have a little fun along the way. I'm going to flop around on the floor for two hours trying to connect this radio. And it'll only be good for about a six minute scene. Don't tune in. You really are weird. <laughs> you really are weird. <laughs> You think I'd make a good ballerina? You do? Yes. <laughs> uh, that's questionable. Uh, oh, last Secret Santa. Secret Santa, right. Love it. I love the Secret Santa. You got it? <laughs> you got it? Okay. <laughs> ah! 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 That rabbit's dynamite! <laughs> We've got a jam-packed season of Ask This Old House, so don't miss a minute. It all starts this fall on PBS.